What's up guys, my name is Vova and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Ukrainian Sundays where we try games by Ukrainian developers. And today we're gonna play the game that was inspired by beloved game on my channel, Papers Please. Go! Cause no trouble! Field Hospital and when Papers Please was actually developed by American developers, this game, like I said, was developed by Ukrainian developer and it has even Ukrainian language Ukrainian language option, which I've never seen in my life before, honestly. But obviously I'm not gonna play that because uh, you're not gonna understand anything. And we're gonna play just English version. Don't know a lot about this game, wanted to go just blind. Good afternoon. We've gathered the documents you requested, but first you need to fill out the form. What form? I don't think I need to do this thick accent because my accent is thick enough. <laughs> for this game. And Ukrainian accent is also thinner than a Russian one, so yeah. Alright, so what do you click? Oh, just close, I guess. Uh, order and customer. Um, Vova. It's my short for Volodymyr. A date. Uh, okay, I didn't read that. Robert Taylor Jr., staff sergeant, third. Uh, I wish it was also Ukrainian setting. Uh, what do you have in front of you are the medical cards for the Taylor brothers. They used to be classified, but due to their age we were allowed to issue them to you for your investigation. Hmm. Okay. Uh, transferred from 1st Medical Brigade of his own violation. From his own words he wants to be closer to the front lines. Dutiful, capable leader can perform under pressure and make decisions in life or death situation. Uh, okay. 29 years old. Almost like me. Or I'm almost like him, to be fair. All right, let's go. Let's see next one. Patient cards usually include a short character reference, injury information, and the circumstances surrounding it. Well, he doesn't have any injuries. To see Dr. Taylor's patients you first need to declassify the cards, study them carefully. Meh, I mean, I studied them pretty carefully. The tabs at the top of the card may contain family information, medical examination, results, and a dossier. Okay, so he has two parents, siblings, from to blah blah blah. Okay, the tabs at the top of the card may contain family information, medical examination, results, and dossier. What's a dossier? Healthy blood type zero plus. What is zero plus? Chronic disease none. Staff oh O plus I guess. Staff surgeon Robert Taylor. Okay. Petition to transfer to the third medical brigade approved. Length of service three years. Medical experience seven years. Physical examination results enclosed. Hmm. Okay. Had a meteoric meteoric rise in the ranks since the start of the war. Alfred Taylor, 35 years old, lieutenant, by continually displaying leadership qualities. However, his approach was often criticized, but his surround subordinates was awarded for taking part in the liberation of Nadal. Hmm, okay. Oh, he has only family thing. Okay, brother. Uh, okay, parents, siblings, normal stuff. Nothing here, here. What's up with this guy? John Taylor, Lance Corporal, 33 years old, took... Declassify? What? Took part in anti-war protests at the start of the war. Uh-huh. Was the last of the brothers to go to war due to... Wait. John Taylor? Alfred Taylor? Robert... Oh, the old brothers! Oh, I see, I see. Took part in anti-war protests at the start of the war, was the last of brothers to, uh, to join the war, due to Alfred's efforts, ended up in the reserve brigade, never took part in fighting due to his personal principles. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Merit. Interesting. Declassify. To stamp the card, simply drag the stamp and drop it onto the card. Boom. Mm, boom. And um, boom. 
By your request, we've picked out the cards of the patients Dr. Taylor received on certain dates. Now you may start studying them. They are arranged in the chronological order and were split into several reporting periods for your convenience. Good luck. So, what's the... even the goal of the game? I don't know. I still don't understand. Good morning, doctor. Today is your first day in the field hospital of the 3rd Medical Brigade. We get a lot of patients with all kinds of injuries, but we can treat them all. Your goal is to determine who needs immediate treatment. We'll have to refuse the others. Good luck. Oh, I see. Uh, from general staff to Dr. Robert Taylor Jr. Wait, is it? Those were my sons? Hold up. Okay. Or I am one of the sons. Because there was uh, Taylor Jr. Good day, doctor. My name is Michael. Actually, I'm waiting my transfer to the 8th, 80th Brigade. But today I was ordered to assist you. This is far from the conditions in Capital City. So to get you up to speed, let me show you how, uh, how we do things. Here with the help of these two dummy dummies. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Dummies? Oh, just dummies. I thought she, he meant like soldiers dummies. Oh, you dummy. To receive more precise data about the patient's condition, a medical examination is in order. To do this, open the appropriate tab and send a request. This, I need this. Please conduct a medical examination of the patient Henry the dummy. Uh, oh. Okay, I thought that I needed to uh, write my own signature. Moderately grave condition. Serious damage to the limb that was torn off beyond repair needs replacement. Am I right? So I guess he needs uh, examination. Number of requests. Uh, Old diamond nicknamed Henry, only its torso and head remain. Has been used by medics in training for 13 years. Wound, leg broke off after it fell out of the larry during transportation. Not good, not good, not good at all. Number of requests per day is limited. It's noted next to the calendar. There you can also see the amount of available beds in the hospital. That's how many patients you can treat the day. Okay, I can treat two patients, right? This is in critical condition. The second one, chest caved <laughs> Suppose during the first aid training. Oh, to treat a patient or refuse treatment, you should place an appropriate stamp. So basically, I need to choose between two patients. Who do I treat, right? Chest caved in supposedly during the first aid training. Condition of other parts almost perfect. How many requests can I get? The design of the chest is not suitable for first aid training. Limbs are removable. Can I also do this? The patient's dossier. Uh, clue. First aid training dummy's arm with traces of blood. Found during crime scene investigation. Blood type on the clue corresponds to the blood type of the victim. What does it help? Does it help me at all? I don't think it helps. I don't think I can help this guy. His leg fell off. I'll help this guy. I'm gonna treat him. Because it's, like, it's just cave. Or it was, the chest was caved in. So I think I can fix him. But this guy I will refuse. Boom. At the end of every day you can learn about the patient's condition in the daily report. Gotcha. Can I sign? As you can see, doctor, it's nothing complicated. Now I'm afraid I must leave you. It's a pleasure knowing you. Oh, so there was no difference. Whoever I could choose just dummies. Okay. All right, now the game begins. All of the useful information related to the investigation is also entered into the diary. It's split into three categories. Notes, case files, and patient lists. Okay. Notes. Today's my first day. Bye-bye. I already read that. 
So what are we doing? Henry the dummy. Exhibit item. Wartime training dummy. Okay, what do we do now? I'll just go here. At the end of every important period, you can learn about the fate of each patient. Our analysts have gathered necessary information. You can find it in the appropriate tabs in the cards. Cool. Dear Dr. Cheryl, thank you. La, 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 la. To move on to the next point, you need to close the cases with an appropriate stamp. Uh, do I just go here? Case closed. Case closed. Hmm. Summertime. Probably the war time. Maybe not. Do I get real patients now? Good morning, doctor. About your appeal to the HQ about the improvement of working conditions, unfortunately, we have to refuse. We barely managed to convince them to install two additional beds at the shooting range, but from there, our hands are tied. We would like to remind you that you can make three requests to headquarters per day. Good luck. What kind of request? All right, I have two beds uh, and I need to choose among three people. Raymond Smith, private, 14, 41 years old, unemployed, joined the army with the first draft known in his squad as an avid gambler, earned the nickname Randy to Axis. Complain, uh, complaints of headache, nausea, weakness, lost consciousness during the forced march. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad, to be fair. Let's ask for some more. High fever, condition stable, clinical blood analyst shows suspicious of a known virus infection, recommended rest and observation. He can rest in his own bed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, it's not that bad, it's just fever. Let's ask for Victoria Williams. Heavy condition, critical blood loss, multiple bruises on the torso, no fractures, right leg needs to be amputated. We definitely need to treat her. Uh, married early to officer Richard Williams and gave birth to his son. After the war started, she started she couldn't bear waiting for her husband and followed him to the front lines, giving her son into the care of her parents. Leg and torso injuries due to explosive shock tried to rescue an injured soldier on the front lines when a tank shell exploded nearby. Holy crap! We definitely need to treat her. And this girl? Lost her... Uh, Amelia Doyle. Lost her parents when she was 16. Oh. The workshop she inherited from her father was destroyed during bombardment at the start of the war. She wanted to tell you that she's happy to be sent to Dr. Taylor. Eye damage, suspected burn from a spark during welding. Um, condition stable, eye clear. I mean, that's not that bad. Come on. This, is, this was better. I wanted to refuse this guy, but come on. I'm gonna refuse her. Daily report. Diet of a sudden temperature rise during two... What? Ah. Checked out of the hospital so she didn't die. Why did he die? I treated him. That's not good. Dr. Taylor. Not a good doctor. Maybe. For now. I'll be better, I promise you. Good morning, doctor. Today we have a special patient, an Independence War veteran. We have... Uh, we hope you'll treat him with all due respect, despite the current situation. In regards to the HQ workload, we can receive three requests today, as usual. Good luck. Oh! Three requests, it means uh, these things, right? Like, sign a request. I see, I see. Please... Oh, let's see. Richard Williams, an officer in the third generation, born, studied, and grew up to serve, was always remarked for his discipline and the results, and demanded the same for his subordinates. Gunshot wound to right shoulder, spent 22 hours in the field after being injured before he was evacuated. 
That seems pretty bad, honestly. Uh, medical truck driver from the 95th Brigade was twice rewarded with the badge of courage. This is pretty good for his bravery and selflessness in combat. Uh, multiple sharpened wounds, unconscious. One of the trucks in the convoy he led was ambushed. Truck blew up on a mine while making a retreat. This seems pretty bad. What's up with his family? Parents. He has a spouse. Divorced. Mm. I mean, he was married. But still, I'll ask for medical examination. Critical condition. 30 shrapnel wounds. 30! Two head injuries. 3 in the chest area. 6 in the abdominal area. I don't think this guy can survive this. One in the left leg needs immediate surgery. Critical blood loss requires transfusion. Holy crap. I don't think this guy can survive, honestly. Jeremy Lewis, retired independence war veteran, claims that he went to war after his three sons to convince them to return, or at least to see them one last time. For his service to the country, the general staff are ready to drop all charges if Mr. Lewis agrees to leave the war zone. Left shoulder twisted when there is system error. Oh, let me see this. Corpse delicti, unlawful entering into a military object during wartime. Prescribed punishment, 15 days arrest, fine of 600 guardian marks, no sentence pronounced. I mean, I can't spend one of the best for this guy. Like, there is a small chance, I thought this is the last hope, but there was a small chance that he can survive. And I assume this guy is gunshot wound to right shoulder, spent 20 hours, yeah. I'm gonna treat this guy for sure. And this guy and refuse this guy. Surgery is successful. Oh my god! Wait, he survived. This guy also survived. And this guy survived. Nice! That was the right call. Did you know that you've got a very popular surname, Doctor? You've the second tailor I've met so far. Thank you, Shepard. That's amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that he would survive, honestly. I didn't know that he would sur survive. All right. Did I refuse her? What? Excerpt from the Doyle Mobile is 100 years old booklet. In 1940, Amelia Doyle came back to her home in Nadal, which was being rebuilt after the war. It's basically what we see what happened after her. Did I refuse her? Came back to her home in Nadal. In three years, she opened up a second one. And so today, Emilia's husband, Roger, died after a short period of illness. She decided to transfer full ownership of the company, which at the time had 35 workshops all over the country, to her son, Alfred, who had been a managing director at the company for 11 years. After that, she went to trip around the world. Now, Doyle Mobile is an international company which provides a board spectrum. Oh, this is pretty awesome. This is awesome to see uh, what happened after I treated them. Okay, case closed. And case closed. Autumn. 3rd of September. Do you cure anyone else? Good morning, Doctor. Today, the Duckies Air Force raided a Slavor... Gorian convoy, which was uh, redeploying their forces in our territory. So we'll have more patience than usual. Unfortunately, we can't provide an additional bet, but we managed to preserve the same amount of possible requests from your hospital, despite the HQ positively bursting at the seams from all the telegrams from Severograd. Good luck. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Four people, but only two places. Good. All right. Uh, Anastasia Fomina, military attache of Slavo Slavogoria in the Independence Republic of Guard, lost her father, a policeman, as a result of an accident when she was a child. 
was with the convoy of a Slavogorian division during force location within RG territory. Injured during an aerial assault on the convoy, lost a consciousness supposedly as a result of a concussion. Right forearm amputated. Already amputated, right? I have only three requests. I don't think I want to treat her. Uh, Viktor Belov, multiple injuries from a plane crash, took part in dogfighting during an air raid by the Duchess of Aviation on a Slavogorian raid. What? What did he take? Oh, wait, the dogfighting? What? Severogradian pilot was a civilian passenger pilot before the war, shown himself to be a good pilot and comrade, was awarded for successful landing a passenger plane onto a landing strip, which was previously almost destroyed by shells. Great. Uh, yeah, you know, plane crash is not a great... I don't think he could survive a plane crash. Ethan Miles joined the army after losing a bet. A month and a half later, the war started. Was assigned to the tank brigade, took part in several battles, where he displayed bravery bordering on the recklessness. Sharpened wounds from a shell that hit his tank. It's a wonder he managed to crawl out from under the burning machine. Hmm. I have a good feeling about this guy. Moderately grave condi- <laughs> Oh god. Uh, a moderately grave condition. Yeah, I had a good feeling about this guy. Bleeding stopped but may restart. First degree burns on the left thigh and shin. Surgery required to extract Sharpnel. Uh, you know what? It's he seems it, it's not first degree. First degree is a good like the lightest, right? Or it's the opposite. The first is the worst. Parents, single. But he's so young. He's twenty one years old. He has whole life in front of him. And this guy is fifty six. A former from a frontline village, John Hope. As luck would have it, he started his fam. As luck would have it, he started his family work shortly after the war broke out, refused evacuation several times. Hmm. Brought an injured cow with him. What? <laughs> From his words, he didn't know where to take the poor little heifer. From the 5th Division reports, he tried to bring his herd to safety through a minefield. Only two cows survived. Is he in the army? He doesn't have anything about... His injury, it's just his cow, right? I'm not gonna treat a cow if I need to choose between a person and a cow. I mean, come on, I just had a hamburger. I wanna check if this girl is okay. Condition stable. Complaints of nausea and headache, no external damage. Signs of internal organ damage or consciousness detected. Huh, right forearm amputated 11 years ago and does not influence the patient's condition. Suspicions of an unknown virus infection. Recommend observation by a doctor in a hospital or a military installation. Okay, um, so basically I'm 100% gonna treat this guy. And I might treat this guy, but I'm not sure. Moderately grave condition, conclusion left leg fractured, signs of internal bleeding, requires surgical operation. 32 years male, 24 years female. Damn it. She's single. And he's also sing single, right? Uh, unknown. God damn it. This is a tough. Like, I'm definitely gonna treat this guy. I'm gonna refuse this guy. And these, I don't, I don't know. This had a plane crash. I can't even, I can't help him. He had, he was in a plane crash with a grave condition. I can't even help him. No, Anastasia died of a sudden temperature increase during treatment. Come on. Cow died from the injuries. Died of internal bleeding. <laughs> At least I saved one. Operation successful, patient's condition approved. At least I saved one. 
I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to save you, Anastasia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Anastasia. Nastya. Nastyonochka. Pachimu. Why? Well, what can we do? Damn it! I saved only one, two died, well, and cow died. Great. Injured cow. Why would I try to save her? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like if you liked the video and see you next time.